I guess I should continue this video. Um, I had both my fans going. I had the ceiling fan going too. And I strung out this wing all over the spare bedroom, which my wife didn't like because it was on her comforter and it was moist. So, um, now that it's dry everywhere, now I'm going to have to figure out how to get this out of here without hurting it and fold it all back up into my stuff sack. So I very carefully brought it into the living room, but I think I might have to take it outside and lay it out. So very carefully I brought it out to make sure I didn't snag any lines and, you know, the grass is not wet, thank goodness. Well, it's wet now over there. Alright, now, because my lines, I'm sure, have been crossed and tangled, I'm going to have to untangle this mess. So, I'm going to lay out the wing the best I can right now. I know most of you are like, well, why in the world are, are, is, are your lines all like this? Well, I was actually out kiting this wing and a storm front blew through unexpectedly. So thank goodness I was actually just kiting the wing and not flying. The wing did some crazy things, flipped around, twist around. I was able to pack it up and put it in the car without any damage but it was wet and tangled up. As I am trying to untangle this, it's looking really, really bad. Like, like a tangle I've never seen before. And I don't want to, you know, pull and bend any of these lines as I am you know, spreading this out. All right, so I strung out the wing, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and carefully find my A's without stepping on any lines. <coughs> so this is my A's, because you can see the center of it's right there, so I'm grabbing my A's here, and I'm gonna walk back with my A's all the way to this. And I see it's not tangled. I'm going to do that with everything. So believe it or not, I actually didn't have any tangles once I pulled that all out. I was expecting tangles, but there were none. So now I'm actually folding up the wing. And everybody folds up the wing differently and they usually, well, they use the stuff sack. So I'm actually doing, I'm going from ridge to ridge to ridge. I'm doing that and I'm folding it up. As my dog is playing, I am continuing folding up the ridge until I get to the center here. And then I'm just bringing this over, making sure I don't get bugs or anything else in the lines. And no matter how I try this, I never can seem to make it look um, and get it as flat as it was when I first got this. All right, so now I have my risers right here. I'm gonna fold them in half and put them in the stuff, in this little side. As I'm doing this, I realized, I guess I could have done a time lapse to show you this whole thing. But anyways, I folded this all over and now I'm just gonna roll this up. Are you helping me, dog? Are you helping me roll this all up? Good for you. So now that I've rolled this all up, I'm just gonna move it over and set it right there in the middle of the stuff sack. So that now that my wing is mostly in the stuff sack, I'm gonna take this and do a rosette. Laying it down in the middle of my wing. Continue to clip up my stuff sack. Now my stuff sack is clipped by those three clips. And now I'm going to set this in the side. And I'm going to stuff this off to the side. 
like so. Then I'm going to fold this over and I'm going to clip it to the other side. So I made sure that none of my lines were out. Everything's stuffed inside nice and it's relatively packed. And like a backpack, I can put this on my back. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you tomorrow.